is my friend Nikola Tesla, the electrical discoverer and inventor. He was the discoverer of the principle of the rotating magnetic field. If he had done nothing else, this would entitle him to fame of the first order. Hi, this is Chris Brown coming to you uh, from Lynchburg, Virginia. Uh, 2011. Uh, I did this last year in 2010, a couple years before that, but I'm showing you um, a little bit something different than what Nikola Tesla came about. He came about a magnetic rotating field through electricity itself, and I'm showing you something that has to do with magnets in themselves. They On the poles, they have a spinning magnetic field, and through this, if each magnet in, is placed in a ring, all the rings should follow suit and you should have a vortex coming through the middle of the ring itself and this will provide the spin I was looking for and proving a theory that I had and here we go older than mankind not everyone believes in the legend but I do you see that's how a story becomes a legend when people believe enough to pass it on to the next generation and it is my privilege to pass on to you. I can dream as the wind. I can dream as far as the sky. I can dream with all my mind. Hi, this is me again. I just want to explain one more thing. There is no motor attached to the string. String um, gives me the ability to allow, for testing purposes, to see that uh, through frictionless movement as best possible as I could do, that we could actually get the thing to spin itself. It's just a spool, a uh, wire through the middle, the opposite end of a button, epoxied onto it, and then two magnets on the spool are epoxy. But the thing was that uh, the magnet, as it gets spinning, and it goes further and further until the actual string itself, the tension, builds up and it has to go the opposite direction. If it did not build up or if there was an alleviation of it, it could probably spin forever as long as the magnets uh, maintain their functionality. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. 